AMC will let people buy movie tickets with cryptocurrencies, meaning they're kind of betting pretty big on the hype and then also just the the traffic of cryptocurrency, the fadness, all that kind of stuff, right? But let's get into the story. So AMC, the world's largest cinema chain, said it plans to accept a range of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin for movie ticket and concession purchases. So AMC boss Adam Aaron broke the news via Twitter on Wednesday, writing, Cryptocurrency enthusiasts you likely know at AMC Theaters has announced we'll, we will accept Bitcoin for online ticket and concession payments by year-end 2021. I can confirm today that when we do so, we also expect that we similarly will accept Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin cash. Now, the company had previously said in August that it would accept Bitcoin for online ticket and concession purchases by the end of 2021. Now, the price of Bitcoin on Wednesday was a little changed, while both Ethereum and Litecoin rose over 3%. AMC's shares, one of the so-called meme stocks, were up nearly 1% in early day trading Thursday, and AMC stock has been on a wild ride this year thanks to an army of retail traders that began playing the stock market during the pandemic on no, no commission trading platforms like Robinhood. So meme stock traders famously targeted GameStop earlier this year and hit other stocks like AMC, Nokia, and Bed Bath & Beyond. And generally speaking, meme stocks are stocks that institutional investors like hedge funds have bet would decline in value. They were basically trying to basically destroy all these companies by shorting them. So traders of AMC call themselves apes and have a sizable, passionate base on social media platforms like Twitter and Reddit. They affectionately refer to AMC's Aaron as Silverback. Now, this year alone, AMC stock went from trading around $5 a share to a high of over $59 in June, and it now trades around $46 a share. And in fact, AMC shares are up a jaw-dropping 2,100% year-to-date. Thanks to the meme stock frenzy, though they have sunk 15% over the past three months, which is, you know, not that big of a deal. So similar to meme stocks, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have also seen wild price swings this year. So in April, the price of Bitcoin reached as high as nearly $65,000 per coin before tumbling down below $30,000 per coin last month. Now, Bitcoin was last seen trading at about $47,579 per coin to data from Coinbase. Although many big companies in America are jumping onto the crypto bandwagon, and accepting the currency for purchases, analysts have raised questions about the viability to, of day-to-day -day use of cryptocurrencies. People are not buying Bitcoin to spend them. Ipek Oza Kardeskaya, senior analyst at Swiss Quote Bank, recently told Reuters, For me, it's still not a nicely established currency in the sense that it's more of an investment for the future over something that we may want to have in the future. And that's the thing. We're like, Bitcoin's not supposed to be used for necessarily spending is more for you hold on to it right kind of think of it as like not necessarily a stock but i guess a good way to view bitcoin as basically an item that you just like to hold right like let's say like your favorite hat right think of bitcoin like that like oh like you're holding your favorite hat. You always have your favorite hat inside your house, that kind of thing, right? Like people who are like long-term believers in Bitcoin view Bitcoin kind of in that sense that like they're just always going to have it, right? Like they just want to have it. And it's kind of like the same thing with the whole NFT craze, right? Some people just want to have it to have it because they just like it, right? By the way, this is very interesting. And the more that cryptocurrencies get adopted, the more of a likelihood that it'll actually end up being worth something, right? So that's something to like really think about, right? Because like cryptocurrency is just that, right? It's just a currency that people can use, that they have the option to use, just like the yuan, just like um, the euro, right? So just keep that in mind. It's all about what are you actually going to end up using it for and why and the more companies that make it like the norm to accept it then that means that it's going to end up becoming more and more of a likelihood that the majority of people will end up doing it right to like really get cryptocurrency to be like a very big deal you have to change the culture of a whole country to be willing to do it 
and that's going to be very hard to do. But if the culture of the United States ends up going down that route, then I could see something where like cryptocurrency could be used something just like the US dollar, right? But it's going to take a long time. You're probably going to have to start seeing this in like basically every education system, right? Like every single school, high school, college, all that kind of stuff, right? You're going to have to see it at pretty much every government institution. You're going to have to see this in basically your like normal day-to-day things like gas stations and grocery stores. If you start seeing this in like schools, government buildings, gas stations, and grocery stores, then yeah, the viewpoint on cryptocurrency is going to change dramatically and the early adopters are going to make a lot of money right like they're going to be super super rich and in fact a lot of them are already super super rich but it's just something to really think about right and a lot of people don't think about it but they should right